Now we are going to discuss about the goods receipt forecast transaction. So this is very important for to determine what are the goods receipt that you are going to you you may receive. Okay. So if you go to this transaction ME2V and you run it based on this plan, so we don't get any information. So so it basically evaluates all the all the delivery dates. So let me execute for any plant okay so we don't have let me give something where I'll just change it uh, to 19 and I'll run it for this uh, let's see probably you'll get some something so if you notice since I gave this so these are all the goods receipt that so it's based on the delivery date so these are the evaluations so basically if you have something that you are planning to get delivered on the po so if you double click on this it will take you to the po number po and here it takes you to this delivery tab so here if you see the delivery is is uh, so the delivery address and is the delivery address where is the delivery date so i think it will be in the invoice uh the delivery date no nope. delivery schedule sorry it will be here so if you see 8 25 is the delivery date so at that time i will expect some delivery coming so that's it's telling me what are the quantities that will be coming and all those things so here this has some value here the volume one okay can i change this put 814 and if i put this and now if i go here 375 did it change anything so if i go here and go to status uh, so now i changed the delivery thing delivery schedules so so if I notice now, here I changed it to 814.75 the volume, and here I can change the quantity. And you know, this is pretty. This is a very, very powerful transaction, I think. Yeah. So here you can change a lot of stuff also. So if I notice, I can change the status. It will enter in unit of measure and all those things. So it's pretty handy. What is this? These are probably with different types of purchase orders. Probably it's a repair pure stock transfer. Period. So stock transfer order is nothing but where you have a you have a plant A inside your company and you're moving stock from one plant to another internal. So that's called stock transfer order. That's why it has a different number range here. So let's see. So these are the stock transport order. Let's see, double click on it. I want to see the volume. So if it's eight quantity, it's 8,000. And if I see the status, yeah, so there is, and there's no real price in it. So that is stock transport order. Let's scroll down. And can we find something else? Let's go on to this one. 365 and here it's 20 pieces and the delivery schedule is 20 uh, 20 schedule open quantity yeah so this is the thing and here you can see shipping delivery type so all these things are there so this is pretty useful where you can you can plant so if you see it's based on this plant and you can change the net weight and all those things here so it's pretty useful so this is the goods receipt forecast okay this is the transaction and so if i go to go to abc analysis choose one ratio column so probably i need to select this one and i'll click i think there's an icon here choose no oh. Let's go to ABC analysis. And if I to probably see here, I have these things and you can see all this. So it's pretty useful and pretty handy. So 
you can do the analysis of the goods receipt uh, how much you are receiving how much you can you, you can adjust and all those things through this transaction